The NEET 2023 results are out last week. Congratulations to everyone who has cracked NEET this time. But it is that time of the year where a lot of the students are confused as to what to do next. Should they give NEET once again in 2024 or should they join a private college or should they try MBBS abroad? So these are the questions which I will be answering in this video. If you are new to this channel, do hit the subscribe button and support this channel. Assalamu alaikum, myself Omar Muhammad. I'm currently a final year MBBS student at Gama Medical College, Tag. I have been dealing with NEET for the past six years. Two years as an aspirant who worked hard to crack the examination and then four years as someone who has mentored over hundreds of students across the country. Back in 2019, I gave my NEET where I scored an Olympia rank of 1016. To get such a rank in 2019, you needed 650 marks. Well, in 2023, to get my same rank, you need 685 marks. Which means that in the last four years, there has been a massive rank inflation. Not only that, in 2016, 8 lakh students appeared for the NEET examination, whereas in 2023, that number has increased to over 20 lakhs. Which means in a span of seven years, in addition, 12 lakh students have appeared for the examination. So not only has there been a rank inflation over the past few years, there has been an additional participation inflation as well. Which is a matter of concern especially for those students who have already given multiple attempts for need. Now why has this happened and why is this a matter of concern? The number of attempts for NEET has been taken off, which means now you can give multiple attempts for NEET. Secondly, the coaching institutes have successfully marketed on the FOMO of Indian Society for Doctors. In the recent years, coaching institutes have successfully took advantage of the rags to riches story of those aspirants who had very poor academic performance during their school years but went on to crack NEET later. But a big problem with these stories is that they hide the actual reality. The reality that out of lakhs of students appearing for the examination, only a handful of such aspirants truly make it to a medical college. The fact that most of these aspirants have given multiple attempts for need and none of them has actually cracked those need in their first or even on their repeat. So what is the problem with inflation? When I gave my need in 2019, I still remember I had made a mistake during my examination. Had I done the same mistake in 2023, I would have lost my seat in the dream college which I am studying right now. So the first point is, there is no room for mistake whatsoever now, even for the toppers. When the question paper becomes easy, naturally the competition is going to rise. Because when the paper starts to get difficult, the segregation between the toppers and the above average students becomes evident. Whereas as the quality of the paper decreases, the gap between the top performers and the above average performance starts to shrink and this shoots up the competition and that is what we are seeing these days. Now unfortunately if you haven't performed well in need this time and if you are confused as to what to do next, let me guide you. This is a flowchart which I will be using to guide you. The first question which needs to be answered before taking a decision on whether to repeat need once again is how many attempts have you given already? Now if you gave your need for the first time in 2023 and you haven't gone for any coaching classes, you just wrote the examination right after your twin board exams and you're genuinely interested to seek medicine, then you can actually repeat once again and attempt NEET in 2024. After join a coaching institute and give your best effort, work hard completely for one year and try for NEET 2024 and hopefully you will make it next year. Now if you have already gone for some form of coaching class during your plus one and plus two and was already preparing for NEET and you gave your first attempt in 2023, then the first question you have to ask is whether you gave your full shot. If you are not confident and if you feel like you haven't given your 100 percentage this year, then you can definitely try for NEET 2024. But if your own India rank is less than 1 lakh, now this is an area of concern. What is the dilemma? The dilemma is whether you join a private college or should you go for need 2024. Now this is a very difficult thing to advise. The hard thing is if you repeat need in 2024, 
it could go both ways either your marks could improve and you could hopefully make it to a government medical college or there wouldn't be much of a change I and mean, then you still might end up with a similar rank or you might even end up worse so the best option which i would suggest is if you could get into a pr good private college with a good patient inflow then that would be the best choice you can make rather than going for a repeat and trying need again in 2024 now what if you have already taken a break after year 12 and you have gone for coaching for one year repeated the need in 2023 and still couldn't make it the first question you need to ask in this scenario is where you well prepared this time now if you have gone for a repeat and you still haven't prepared well and if your one in the rank is greater than 1 lakh i would actually suggest you to think of alternative options because there is a big chance that you might re repeat and end up in the same situation as i have said earlier there are people who have performed really poor in their first attempt and then went on to perform well in their subsequent attempt but there again is this all really worth it is a big question because when you're preparing for neat you really take mbbs as the end goal but once you join mbbs you realize how big of a mountain lies ahead of you how competitive the field is and how long it takes to make a successful career as a doctor so you have to be really wise with your time especially if you're giving multiple attempts for need now if you're repeating for need and you could not prepare well this time and you have still managed to get a role in the rank of 1 lakh then again there are two options for you one is a private college and the other one is a need 2024 if you could get into a private college with a good patient inflow that would be the good option however if you could not make it into a good private college then you can actually try need once again but if you gave you 100 percentage during a repeat year and still could not make it the important question is what happened this time a lot of the times when i mentor students the common answer which i get is that somehow it's a hard like affecting them during the examination day so during the day of need examination there will be some sort of an issue there will be anxiety they will mark the answers wrongly in the oma sheet sometimes a question number gets messed up and a lot of careless mistakes and anxiety are the reason why they could not crack the need the problem here is that these students could not crack need because of because of a lack of knowledge but unfortunately luck is not in their way so if they get an all india rank less than 1 lakh the best option i would tell them is to join a private college if possible financially then to attempt need once and if their all in their rank is greater than 1 lakh they can actually try need once again and give another final show now i want to discuss about the last group of people and there is a really high number of students who belong to this category that is those who have already given more than two attempts for need and they're still not satisfied they still want to try need and fulfill their dream of becoming a doctor The problem here is if you have given multiple attempts for need and if your own in the rank is still above 1 lakh I really suggest you to think for alternative options because your years are really precious your youth is precious the time that you spend are really really precious you have already attempted need more than two times there are so many career options which are available outside of mbbs which you can actually explore rather than wasting your years again on need so before you attempt to need in 2020 for you really have to give multiple thoughts about your decision as i have said earlier even if you make it to a medical college after this it's going to take a long time mbbs itself is 5.5 years and at the end of this you will have to give another neat examination or the next examination and then you have to do your post graduation after post graduation you have to give the third entrance examination then you have to do a super specialty examination and that is how the journey of a modern day doctor goes so considering that you have a very long journey ahead of you you have to be really wise with the time and your reach if your all in the rank is less than 1 lakh the best option i would say is you go for a private college if affordable Now I'll be discussing some of the common questions which a lot of the students have a lot of the students have asked me what should I look for while selecting a medical college so there are three parameters you need to assess before joining a medical college the first parameter is the obvious one that is the type of institution whether it is a government college a private college or a semi government college this is a deciding factor when it comes to the cost and expense of becoming a doctor secondly regarding the patient flow now with patient flow what we mean is the variety of cases and the number of patients that come to the hospital 
I mean, Kill College, which has a large number of cases and a large variety of patients, are far better than those colleges which has fewer patients and fewer variety of cases. The confusion that arises here is why choosing between a newly formed government medical college or an established private college. Now, how to decide between these two? Well, you have to take the factor of cost and expenses because no matter how established a private college is, it will be way too expensive compared to any government medical college. So if you're not ready for the financial expenditure, it is better for you to opt for a newly formed government medical college over an established private college. However, if you are ready and financially capable, choosing an established private medical college over a newly formed government college is not a bad option at all. The third factor which you need to take into account is the distance from your home. Now, why is this important? You have to understand that MBBS is a course which spans five and a half years and you're not going to have any vacations. Therefore, you really have to take this into consideration. If, because if you're really the type of person who wants to keep your family connections and you want to visit your home weekly or monthly, then you really have to prefer medical college which is within your state. However, if you're a person who is not concerned with these things, you can definitely choose any medical college which you can get in this country. The next question is, should you join central institutes like AIMS or GIPMAP over the best government colleges in your state? Now, I personally chose the best government college in my state over GIPMAP. I had also scored really well in GIPMAP, but I choose government medical college Calicut because of the reasons which I have mentioned above. Firstly, CMC has a very great patient flow and secondly, it is close to my home. It's just 70 kilometers away from my home. There are certain advantages which you get when you study in central institutes and if you can really go out and study there, that would be the best option. But at the undergraduate level, there are huge differences between the central institutes and the government colleges in your state provided that you get the opportunity to study in the top one or two government colleges in your state. The final question is, should you join a private medical college or should you do MBBS abroad? During last year, I had answered the question of doing MBBS abroad and I have put those cards over here. Here again, the cost factor is really important. The number one reason why most students prefer abroad is because of the low cost. But studying abroad does have its own disadvantages, especially if you're someone who is planning to practice in future in India, if you can manage the expenses, I would certainly prefer you study in a private medical college. The fact that next exam will now replace the FMG examination which the students from abroad has to go through. Studying in a private medical college, if possible, seems to be a better option than going abroad. Because if you do your MBBS from abroad and you want to practice in India in future, you'll have to go through a next examination. It should be harder compared to those studying in private colleges where the curriculum is oriented towards the next examination. So these are the commonly asked questions which confuse most of the neat aspirants. Be wise in your decision making. Seek the support of your parents, your teachers and your friends to help you make a decision regarding NEAT 2024. And if you're planning to give another shot, I really wish all the very best for you and I really hope that you all make it to your medical college next year. So that's it for this video. If you found value in this video, please do subscribe and share it with your friends. Until next time, it's Summer One Word. Thank you.